Hi guys, I hope you are doing well. Probably it may happen to you that in the process of interior lighting of your projects in Lumion, you wanted to use the IES files, I mean the personal and the customized ones in your projects. For instance, I lower the sun height to darken the scene. So right now as you can see, this indicates the night. Then in the continuation, I'm gonna place some spotlights by using the IES files that I have downloaded them before. And these are the related images. Let's check them out by this way. So I got the IES files from before. So to do this, I open the content library and then in lights, I click on place spotlights then i want to pick one of these spotlights by default then i place it in the scene like this i locate it then i select it then we got this dockable window in, on the scene then here i want to click on ies profile i click on load ies then i want to choose my desired IES. Let me check the related image at first. For example, IES number 10. And this is the light intensity as the interior lighting of the project. I choose 10 IES. I load it into the project. So right now, as you can see, it is loaded into the project. So right now, I can use this IES or other similar IES files. I decrease the brightness that we can control it from here and also the cone angle i mean the cone angle i'm sorry so that we can modify the value by click and drag and also the color of the temperature by this way and also we can specify an object as the target light for example the furniture i dedicate the ies to the furniture by using the target lights in order to reflect the lightness to a specific part or a spot for example in a gallery i want to focus the lights on some pictures however i can move the light to upwards by this way here as you can see the value is the distance between the light to the ceiling at this offset or we can move it and place it somewhere else, close to the wall, or far from the wall, or wherever you want. So guys, this was the process of using IES files or the customized IES files in the project.